guys, it's me, and it's Sunday, and I'm tired, once again. Although this time it isn't due to work, it's due to my staying out way, way, way too late last night and having lots of fun. So I guess it wasn't too late, because overall I think it was time well spent. But nevertheless, I am still exhausted. Alright, just so you know how insanely busy my week has been, here's a rundown of how it went. Um, I had a video project that was due on Wednesday that I had to do a lot of work over over the weekend um, and didn't really get finished editing until Tuesday afternoon so that was most of Monday spent in the lab um, editing videotape and writing a script. And then later I had a uh, Spanish paper that was due on Friday that I ended up putting off until Thursday night along with a couple of other important assignments which kept me staying up until 3 a.m. On Friday, this was pretty exciting but caused a lot of trouble for me during the week, I got to interview um, the award-winning, Oscar award-winning documentarian Alex Gibney who directed the uh, movie Taxi to the Dark Side, which is the movie that won him the Oscar. Um, about treatment of prisoners in uh, Guantanamo Bay and Abu Ghraib and Bagram prisons. Um, so that required watching the movie, uh, doing a lot of research over him for what ended up being about a 15 minute interview that went really well, but still felt like kind of a anticlimactic moment. I mean, I'd done all this work and the most I could eke out were a couple of, you know, nervous questions about the movie and about how he feels about his uh, subject matter, so that was pretty great. I also spent some time yesterday doing some canvassing for the Great Plains Alliance for Clean Energy, which was kind of exciting. We walked around West Lawrence talking to people in nice houses about why they should support um, renewable energy and why Kansas, the number three windiest state in the entire country, needs to be using more than one percent of its energy for renewable sources. So that was my day on Saturday. Pretty exciting, pretty productive. Got into some interesting conversations with some folks. And speaking of politics, I've just realized that I haven't been using my unique perspective in this group as an American in the midst of the presidential election. So I should probably be talking a little bit more about that. So let's talk about the vice presidential debates from Thursday, shall we? I have a friend who was working at a bar downtown and said they were going to be doing a watch party for the uh, presidential debates, and I told them they should do a drinking game every time that uh, Sarah Palin mentioned some kind of cute colloquialism, they should take a shot. Anyway, if they had actually, you know, gone by my suggestion and done a drinking game like that, they would have been, I think, sufficiently buzzed. Maybe not smashed, but buzzed, I think, would be a good term. I understand that what she was trying to do was pretty, you know, cool and noble. I mean, trying to connect with the common person. I think it's a pretty interesting angle, and an angle that is a good one for somebody like her to take, considering that she's pretty much got a corner on that market, I think. But when it came down to actually having plans and actually knowing what her um, running mate's plans were for the presidency, she really didn't have anything on Joe Biden. He had done his homework. He knew exactly what was going on. He knew exactly what Obama stood for and was a wonderful representative of him in the debate, I think. I think he did a fantastic job and I'm really pretty excited about him. Um, for a while, I didn't really know a whole lot about Joe Biden, so I was kind of skeptical of him as the running mate just because I wasn't that knowledgeable about him. But after Thursday night's debate, I think I can confidently say that Obama had a fantastic epiphany and made a wonderful decision in choosing Biden as a running mate. I think he'll be a wonderful vice president. Now, I would go into more, but seeing as how this video is already um, gonna go over five minutes, I don't really want to take up too much time making a super long video blog. So if you're curious as to more about what I thought or what my particular opinions are on certain issues, just ask me. And if you want me to make a video about it, tell me, and I totally will, because it's something I will be more than happy to do. If there's one thing that I am not, it is shy about my political opinions. And just to let you know, I am trying to muster some form of enthusiasm. I'm just so completely blah. Today's just one of those days where you don't want to do anything, and you just want to sit on a couch and be in kind of sleep mode all day long. I guess that's what comes of staying up far, far past your bedtime. Oh my god, I need coffee so bad.
As for the rest of today, it should be pretty interesting. I may be going downtown to do some music shopping. Um, gonna go see a movie to review it for the radio station, which should be good. It's gonna be um, How to Lose Friends and Alienate People, which I'm excited about because it has Simon Pegg in it, and anything with Simon Pegg in it is fine by me. So there's that and um, a free music uh, festival that's going on downtown right now, actually. And I have a friend whose band will be playing in that later, so I'll probably be spending some time there. And that's pretty much it for this ultra, ultra tired video blogger who really needs to catch up on her sleep or awareness level or something. Man, I hate feeling like a zombie. But anyway, Kate, I will see you tomorrow.